If you're integrating your SD9 with playback machines or workstations, the snapshots can send MIDI machine control or MMC commands. The transport control panel contains the PER snapshot programming. These are the MMC standard commands, play, stop, locate to, play from, etc. It's also possible to control external devices using a standard set of MIDI messages. These are messages on MIDI channel 16 and use General Purpose Controller 16. Using the Control by MIDI panel, you can edit the relationship between snapshot and controller values sent. In theatres, this general purpose MIDI message is often used to control sound effect playback systems, and during the technical rehearsals and programming stages, it's sometimes necessary to be able to define or edit which snapshot sends which MIDI message. Press the Control by MIDI button to open the control panel. The window will show you the snapshot list, and the right-hand column displays each corresponding MIDI message. These start at controller 16, value 0 for the first snapshot, value 1 for the second snapshot, etc. You can clear or edit these values using the change and clear buttons. Only available values are displayed in the change value list, so there's no chance of setting two snapshots with the same MIDI controller value. Finally, in this panel, you can decide if firing snapshots on the console sends the message to an external device. This is the Fire Snapshot Sends MIDI button. Or if the SD9 should respond to an incoming MIDI message using the MIDI Received Fire Snapshot button.